In this tutorial, I am going to tell you what is include and require in PHP. Include and require actually are some, have some functions. That means include actually is a function like this. Okay, so it is like this and include once this is also a function like this. So I am going to put it here function style. Okay. So all these are used to include a file in another file. The main difference between them is how they are handled errors and where the file is included into multiple times, whether the file is included in the uh, multiple times. So I am going to tell you detail about that. So first one is include. Include uh, means what, what it actually does. Include actually can uh, include the same file multiple times and include ones can uh, include the file only one time require uh, do the similar like include that can only include uh, that can include a file multiple times and require ones can include a file only one time but where is the difference then between include and require the difference is in the include if there is any error okay then the uh, the error will be shown but the lines after the error in which line the error or was occurred after that line uh, the output will be shown but in the case of required if there is any error the program will be stopped in that place and there after that all the items that were um, there as a eco format will not be shown i am going to show you uh, then you will understand it very easily uh, uh, for example i am going to call include um, this is you see this is index.php i am going to um, include another file that is for example uh, for a another another dot php okay so i just give a uh, random name here so in the index for example i want to show something here for example i am to give the country name bangladesh and then give a beer and here are some other items here for example like this like this okay so in the include i include the another dot php like this you can also use it like this format both are same in function format or in this format so you can use this one or this one no problem now i am going to give here another country usa and here is for example another country australia so these are the codes okay so let's check if i run this code what will happen if i now run this code then uh, in the browser i am going to run it you see that in the browser it will show like this bangladesh usa and australia total three items are showing here now i am going to call the include more time so total three times i am going to call what will be here for example in the first include i am going to show the output for example in the another i am going to output something like uh, canada and this must be into a php block okay so like this this file the content of this file that is into the another.php will come in this in this place it will be printed right so if i refresh you see that first bangladesh usa canada and australia there i am going to give a new line to understand for example here is a new line now you will understand it so after this two the third one that comes from another file and then this one is showing like this okay now i can call the include multiple times total three times for example so i am going to refresh you see that three times this one comes but if i use the include once what will happen so there is two another i call so two times the out uh, two times this text canada should come but if you refresh you will see that only one time it is here because if you use the include once then it will call the another file another dot psv file only one you already have called the include another dot psv right so if you use the include once it will check if this file is used is called another time or not so include once is um, uh, going to call another dot psv 
then the execution will check that this another dot php in previous line already called so include ones will not be able to call it again because this is called already so this is the difference between include and include ones what is the problem between the include and require uh, here if instead of include for example i am going to call the require the require if i call like this and total three items i call require you will see that the same like include it is going to show the output also here if i like previous time if i put here the require ones and i call it after the require in this line instead of two times it will show only one time that means it is working exactly the include ones so recurrence also check here that the another dot php is already called in its previous line so it will not uh, show the output of that file another dot php so what is the difference the difference is for example in the case of include i am going to show the reference using the include for example i call the file wrong file that means i call another one dot php actually there is no file by this name so in this line it will show an error but what include does include will show error in this line but after that this line will be executed if you run this you will see that the third line here two warning is showing one is another on the php there is no file no such file and another is opening this inclusion so this line number five error is actually for this wrong uh, as i call the wrong file so it is showing me error but in the output you will see that the australia is going to, to be printed here that means after the error is occurred no problem after that which lines are given that will be executed but if i use here require then what you will see if i go to refresh you will see that there is a fatal error in of warning and the australia is nowhere so you do not see australia here that means where the program is stopped for the require for uh, showing an error for calling an error uh, bad file or wrong file so you uh, the program is, uh, you will be stopped in that line and what are given after that will not be executed anymore so this is the basic difference between the require and include so i hope you have understood the difference between all these include include ons require and require ons